Would you believe it's time to get immersed again? Because it's time to get immersed again. Let's do some more challenges. If we don't have many left here, uh, but after doing this, this was funny. Ending that with uh, with that last time. Let's get into more prototyping shit. Starting with the Bentley challenge. Drive one of these thoroughbreds in a race to the finish. Race to the finish. Super Super Smash Brothers. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, four races, three laps each. The usual places. But this is gonna be our first drive in the Bentley EXP Speed A. This thing's hot. This thing's hot. Especially with the British racing green. Here we go. First race of the evening. Monza, three laps. We'll do this. Let's go. Let's go. I agree. Engineer. I was gonna say take it easy into the first chicane, then I remembered. Oh wait, no, I don't need to do that. They break way too early. I need to do that. Bonk. Too early for clean diesel jokes. Can't see it. Oh, okay. I fucked it. Gotta break a little earlier than that. Went for the ultra super lato braking and it was a little too uh, lato, not so super. <laughs> the high racing no chicane layout, still in PCC mode. You know it's been like a week. I still haven't highlighted that race. I really should. Every time I think about it, I'm like, eh, I don't want to put put any effort into that. Oh, oh God, oh. I, I spun Severn around Ascari. I wasn't even trying. He just looped it. I'm honestly surprised that sent him around. I definitely bumped AI cars harder than that. I had them not... Oh, I... I counter-steered like a buffoon. Oops. So that was a uh, not a good first lap. In fact, you could say it was a very bad first lap. Oh, I just killed another man. I killed I killed another one. The Bentley moment. I have I am ahead of two cars. Both of those cars I wrecked. Most level in immersion today. Uh, eight, because that's the number on this car. Uh, ooh, ooh. Holy fuck, I can't drive for shit. My god. We are we're not having a good warm up here. We're not doing well. <laughs> so they're murder too. See if I can get my wits behind this car. That probably made absolutely no sense. I just follow the lads around power parabol blog mold. Around Jerome Bleak Mullen. The suck. There we go. That's better. Actually made it through the first chicane. Everything's easier when you're in the lead.
surviving in the bent car. Yeah. Does this thing even, like, race anywhere outside of Le Mans? Or was this a Le Mans special? Sebring once. I didn't... Uh. <laughs> I'm going to guess Sebring was the shakedown for this car. Oh god. Oh, oh, Ascari. Oh, Ascari bad. Arbor's branded jelly beans. You know, that does sound good. That, sound, that sounds like a yes. satisfying candy. Once again, despite my best efforts not to, I won the race. The race is yours. Just Lamont and C Ring 03, huh? Not surprised, honestly. I am surprised I won this race, though. Take that Nightingale, Baker, and White, and Hussein and Severn. Hussein finally in the car that he won four championships with in the career mode in six seasons. I haven't had jelly beans in a while. Now I want some. Mm, jelly bean. Specifically, uh, popcorn jelly beans. Those are like the best. Jelly beans. Silverstone. <laughs> now we're racing. Three laps, Silverstone. Let's go. Hopefully, this goes a little better than Monza. In terms of just overall driving ability. Remove some of the skill issue, please. Certified popcorn jelly. Hell yeah. Dude, just pop it in your mouth one fucking, like, as soon as your tooth goes into it, you just get a huge, just whiff of delicious butter flavor. Oh. Nut. I can eat a whole bag of those fucking things. Like, just those exclusively. Later, losers. They're really good. Honestly, the whole concept of jelly beans is like crazy to me. How they pack such, so many different and like most of the time accurate flavors into a fucking tiny little uh, piece of edible wax. With the fastest lap time, you crazy. Can be in for an extra point. Flex if we know exactly how to trick you into tasting things that aren't there. Science is incredible. Oh, big slide. We're good. Caught it. Caught the car like the field's catching these hands. I just realized this car has the funny, or does it? Actually. This car has the funny offset wing mirrors. Damn, can't see it in the cockpit, but... The, the wing mirrors are not like... 
at the same spot. It's funny. Imagine having an aerodynamic symmetry on your car. This is it. The last lap. I never noticed that's what this car. I've noticed it on the uh, the Toyota TSO20 before. This is my first time noticing it on this car. We are uh, still experiencing some minor skill issues, but not as bad as Monza's. And I'm dominating the race, but we're getting there. Cool. to do the, the wheelie spinny on the second gear. Hey, we... Great racing. You're the winner. <laughs> that almost looked intentional. Almost. It wasn't, though. I guess I had a new record. I... Yeah, whatever. Call you a bottom say I'm not dead yet. Oh, okay. Hi Reaper, see a Reaper. Glad you're not dead, Reaper. <clears throat> I won the race. I won the oh wait, no, we got two races left, not one. I haven't won the challenge yet. Oh, Reaper absolutely is still going to get it first. There's no way he's going to be caught in the race to ban Reaper. Alright. Time for three laps of Hockenheim. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I just said. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> no, Reaper's got this. That's, that's like almost there. about to happen with the car. Somehow it took the lead pretty easily here. Like before we got to the first chicane. I just gotta vibe and not fuck up. The don't fuck out Grand Prix. Yeah. Or do 
was slippy. Controlled slippy. You've got the fastest lap of the race so far. Oh. I understand now why the other Bentley drivers just stop whenever they touch grass. Because that's what the car does. WC, WC Talladega got a pit. They can make one. Oh, gonna say. That one went over my head because I actually have never played Star Fox. I just know there's a character named Slippy. And then the, you know, the dual world roll. not where the car go. Just one lap to go. One lap to go. Toad Man. Where he played Mega Man for. I want to say, I, 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 speaking of, I'm stoked to play Mega Man 9, whatever the fuck that's going to be. The toes are just slipping on slip E. Version of Dolphins. <laughs> well then. As, as a uh, interesting collage of random knowledge. Birthday cake flavored Oreos. I, I saw they brought back the, uh, speaking of, I saw they brought back the uh, the cookies and cream Oreos. So the Oreo Oreos. Fucking dumbasses. Cookie and cream Oreo. It's literally just a standard Oreo, but there's tiny bits of cookie Great within driving. the cream. You've won the race. Not Europe, so I have no pal the fuck. I get it. Oh wow, I barely got fast lap. One tenth faster than Hussein. Damn. Alright. Oh, we're at a perfect score skill. Still, one race to go. And it's at a track this car actually raced at. Oreos. Literally every Oreo is a cookies and cream Oreo because that's what they fucking are. Literally two cookies with cream in the center. Fucking marketing shit. Idiots. Sebring. Now we're racing. <laughs> Made Oreos. Oreos. They've done it twice. 
they did it before and then they brought it back. Actually, oh, that was some, uh, that was some FD on your steer. Oh, someone touch grass. I touch ass. Still touching ass. Dude, the sunset reflection off the green. Makes for an interesting shade of green, but like, it looks cool. Total immersion racing clean pass challenge impossible. Ooh, there goes on, you know. I'm giving my dips. You know, you know what's fucked up? Uh, speaking of stupid, oh my god, stupid uh, snack flavors, I saw. That there are Funyuns flavored Lay's chips. Because why not? It's just lazy. America. <laughs> oh, I would add, I would not be surprised if all there's some sort of like doom flavored cream Oreos. At some point in history. Are we in so much denial? It, it's been like this for like the past decade. Once everyone, like companies, figured out that they can just add flavors to everything, and once like, and everything is behind the same single parent company, they're like, fuck it. No more diversity. Everything gets every possible flavor. Like Funyuns, but I'll eat them in flat form. Funyun, it's a, uh, it's a crispy onion flavored, uh, like crispy snack. Shaped like an onion ring. I really like how I, I don't like onions. I do not enjoy the taste of onions. I will tear through a bag of Funyuns, though. Artificial onion flavor? Sign me up. <laughs> oh god, yeah, Denny, I remember that trend where everything was... So, there was a trend of, like, everything had a birthday cake flavor. And then after that, they started the trend of everything is, like, unicorn flavor or some shit. I just don't like the taste of actual onions. Oh god, there's a turn there. Here's the final lap of the race. The final lap of the race. I can't help you with that gravy. I know nothing about Portuguese snacks. It still kind of fucks me up that there's like a, uh, there's literally like a unicorn and a mermaid flavored, um, pudding cups. They do not disclose the flavor in any way, shape, or form. It's just like, it's, it tastes like a mermaid. It tastes like a unicorn tea. -hee. Yeah, but what actually is it? Uh, unicorn tea. -hee. Listen here, motherfucker. <laughs> America has gone insane with, like, stupid artificial flavoring. Yeah, literally kill you. Just 
sprinkles? No. There's no sprinkles. It's just a pink and blue colored, just flavored pudding. Where the flavor is not disclo disclosed in any way. Clean sweep. Perfect score, by the way. Not bad. Actually, I drove pretty bad. But we still got the perfect score. Uh, Concessiona? Sure, why not? <laughs> we totally eat French people. We. Oui. There's our first You Finished One of the night. Hell yeah. And we've unlocked the Bentley. Hell yeah, times two. Overall rating of ri of eight. Funny, because it's the speed eight. Hee ha hee ha Eat the red. Oh, uh, shit. All right. Next challenge. Traffic challenge. Better be good at passing slower cars. There's going to be a lot in the way. Ooh. An actual multi-class challenge. Let's go. Six races, three laps each. One of them is at Monado City. That scares me. Um, what car do I want to drive for this? Hmm. Fuck it, we balling in the BMW. This. Layers of sausage, ham, and steak wrapped in cheese, topped with an egg. Almost sounds like an omelet, but like with the steps in the wrong order. Oh, hey, there is no qualifying in this. That's cute. Okay. This is a, literally a 1v1. Am I 1v1ing this? With a field of 16 slower cars. I am. All right. Boy, ooh, ah, ah, ee, ooh. Okay, we're good. We're not. Oh my God! So much. The, the frame rate is happening right now. The Sony PlayStation 2 is uh, trying his best. Uh, we are. We are both stuck. Door stuck. Halo mess with reverse grids. Yeah, it's even accurate to Halo mess because there's only two prototypes. Aha, funny. Please, my BMW brethren. I think Severn's actually kind of quick here. But Lamal traffic. Crazy. I see him. We throw the GT cars. Time for the GTSs. B. <laughs> Oh, we're going in hot. Ooh. Diving for the lead for the win. Go, go, go. Oh, he's bump drafting the Lister. Oh, my God. Am I going to make this? Just barely. Three wide though with the both McLarens. Oh no 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 no! I don't think. Oh, what's up, Sever? I was wondering why I was still getting bullied. Oops! I didn't mean to do that. All right. 
we're past the traffic part of the traffic challenge. Oops. It's very much an oops moment. Not a tee hee oops, but like a genuine oops. Oh, here comes Severn. Uh, sort of reverse Grizz. The GTEs and GTSs are start in the correct order. But it's a 1v1 with the prototype starting last. And no qualifying. I think that Audi might be a little faster than this BMW. Just a hunch. Bonk. May or may not have made the best car choice for this. Hey, look, we completed an entire uh, 24 hours of the mall. This is it. The last lap. <laughs> every, yeah, every possible combination with the nine cars and eight tracks in this game. It ain't much. But we're gonna make it. We're gonna try. I've endured 24 hours. 24 hours of immersion. A bullet train. That's an honest game. Well, he's just sniffing my ass. Oh, 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 he fucked it. He screwed up the overtake. Get away from my exhaust fume. Oh, shit. Good. My ass pro stop. Alright, we survived the first round of the race is yours. The traffic challenge. Somehow. How close was that finish? Point zero six, very close. Oh yeah, we have multi class for the first time in a long time. There's eight GTS cars and eight GT cars. Cool. I wonder if they get points as well. Let's find out. Oh, they absolutely do. All three. Yep, all three of my YouTube videos. That's all I have. Um, both of the Panos was of zero points. Both of the Audis with zero points in GT. Okay. I did more than three streams of Ridge Racer 5, didn't I? Like, at least four, wasn't it? Five? I don't remember. Let's head on to race two. Springfield. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we do on a track that is more handling than raw speed. Against our boy here. Howdy. Greetings, everyone. How are we on this fine racetrack gaming day? The racetrack from racetrack. Alright, passed all the GTs already. Uh, homeboy's having some struggles, as am I. I just got GTS sandwiched to hell. Goddamn.
Cole, excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me. Oh, Comcast, how you doing? Uh, we are having a Comcast moment. Comcast moment is still sort of happening. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I don't have the bar turned on. They absolutely do get angry. Yeah, no, it's not here, and it's still fucking, by the way. It's still fucking itself. The, the, the connection bar is extremely red. Comcast. They are they are good at uh, not working. It's still red, by the way. I think it might finally be recovering. Started its recovery at fucking like 1,000 bit rate. We can king shit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think we're gonna win this one. Oh, through traffic way more efficiently than the other person, than the Audi. All right, I think we're back now. At 14 seconds ahead of Severn, I am driving like shit right now. I feel like I started a thought about Mega Man and then never finished it like 10 minutes ago. Didn't spank, yeah. I am the traffic master. About nine. I'm stoked to play nine. Next week. I really enjoyed eight. Like, 8 felt like a more chill experience. Maybe it's could just the vibe of, like, all the audio and shit. And the, the graphics. It was nice. It was still, like, has challenge, but it felt like a more relaxing Mega Man experience, in a way. I win. In first place. Damn right I did. I finished in very first place. God, yeah. <laughs> the Wily Capsule only taking two tries was also nice. I won by 20 seconds. Oops. Let's look at the overall results. Let's look at the overall. Yeah, not much uh, moving and shaking in the other classes. When finishing the same spots, boo. Alright, seven point advantage, or eight point advantage. Two to zero. Between myself and Severn. Oh, one of the allies has a point. Wait, did he get fast lap? He must have got the fast lap point. I don't know. But yeah, looking forward to nine. I know how much of a ball buster that one's going to be. 
but I'm I'm ready for it. I hope. Anyways, next race, Silverstone. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah, starting in the middle of the corner. Severn already checking up. I will take the lead. The class lead. Quaif. Other Quaif. Oh, the BMWs are uh, fighting amongst each other and also passing the painos. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I saw that. Um, the library posted like a comparison video involving that car. Step closer to an expanded group two roster. Hell yeah! Oh, McLaren. Amazing how much things calm down and how quickly once you get into the lead. The fastest lap is yours. If nobody beats it, you'll win an extra point. Whoa, big slide. Huge slide through cops. Severn still making his way through the GTS field. That'd be sick, gravy. Do our own GT500 versus DTM shit. That would be fun as heck. Both sides, probably. But with the Natasha, oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, big fan of that idea. I'm gonna go with Silverstone. see it. Honestly, there should be a good smile livery on every car. Period. The end. Both in games and in real life. Come on, come on, good smile. Sponsor fucking Cody Ware for one race at least. If we never get the Cody Ware Tasha, I'm going to be extremely upset.
bust it out for the All Star Open. God, yes. Well done. Give that man the, the fan vote. God. <laughs> I would love to see a Cody Ware All Star entrance. Just to see what song he, like, just to see what would happen. I won, by the way. Wow. Big shakeup in the GTS class. A little bit in the GTs. A little bit. Three to zero now. This car is Latifi. Uh, I guess so, yeah. His dad owns the team. But Cody Ware is great because he's just a massive weeb. He's one he's one of our people. Alright, three down, three to go. Yeah. Asian Lamal LMP2. No way. Like, real shit? He's actually an ALMS. Champion? Asian LMS champion? Oh, hey, speaking of uh, Asian Lamal, uh, Monado City. You know what? Cody Ware's really good at avoiding the big wrecks. He's able to be there when it, after everyone else has died. Oh boy. This is going to be a very uh, violent race. <laughs> Trying to go through 16 GT cars around this fucking city course. Still a champion. Counts. Still, Cody Ware is a racing champion. At the end. Fifth in class, that's interesting. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh my god. Oh, oh. A little bit tight. A wee bit. Sneak past the listers for the chicane. And now I'm clear for the next two laps. As, uh,. Severn is just now making it to the back of the GTSs. With the fastest lap time, you could be in for an extra point. Woo. Run away. We're starting past the GTS cars. Oh god, big slide. Struggling. He's struggling and I'm driving away. Uh oh, there's a wreck. There's been a wreck. Big junk. Lots of cars stopped.
Xbox will do 20 ones. Holy shit. Oh my god, the game. PlayStation 2, how you doing? This is what I call Tokyo drifting. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, Russell, oh what have you done? Oh you just threw everyone into the fence. Oh fuck. Oh man. Oh god. Oh j hi Russell. Thank you for the raid. How the hell are you doing? Hope you had a good stream. Certified heckin' hours. Hell yeah. I can't believe you've done this. Welcome to Total Immersion Racing for the PlayStation 2. Oh, and the resub. Indeed. Do be a BMW LMR. Mo this is a fucking PS2 frame rate moment. I don't know what's happening behind me to cause my the game to uh, lag as much as it's been doing, but there's some shit be happening behind me. Anyways, uh, yeah, Total Immersion Racing for the PS2. Oh god. <laughs> Bono, my frames. Doing the, uh, oh no! There's a wall there. Doing the, uh, Duolingo Reality TV Dating Show. Caro, what the fuck? The actual fuck. Oh yeah, the uh, rally expansion came out. Horizon. I forgot about that. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Instantly. Believe it or not. Break your contestants knee. It went by 27 seconds. At least Severn got around all the GTS cars in the end, but through a great struggle. Alrighty then. Two to go. I don't, I cannot lose now. I have an 18 point lead. The most he can gain on me is 10. Now the only uh, real races to watch out for the uh, championships to watch out for the uh, the other classes. Co-drivers now. I think Horizon 1's rally had some semblance of a co-driver. I think, maybe. I don't remember, to be honest. Mick. Gimmick to what? Fucking corn cob beats. Yeah. Oh, April 1st. Uh, I should make something. I want to make something. Uh, we'll see if I actually do it. Let's go. Anyway, Sebring. Three laps. Let's go. Way. Move over, I'm faster. About to have a Sebring 2023 moment here. Nothing bad. Ah! Curb. I don't think they ever did a combined race. Unless I'm an idiot. Oh, wait. Okay, no. A1 mess. Never mind, I'm done. Oh, E. Oh, that's first gear. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really follow uh, LMS much in its final years because it was like two prototypes and 15 GT cars. This <laughs> is God. Run away. There's a peacock duel in his wheel. Which is best, the pre nap nap or the post nap nap? Hmm. I'm more, I'm more of a fan of the post, post, nap, nap. Or the post, post, yeah. The post, post, pe nap, nap. Oh, yeah. Pre-nap before second breakfast. that in my discord. I want to see the goofiness. Another day, another uh, instance of break gravy bringing up a goofy uh, goofy racing from the past. Love to see it. <laughs> Eat classes. Jesus. 6 to 4 in the transit suit, oh god, yeah. Shout out to the year, to uh, like 2000 Daytona 24 that had like 80 entries. 8 0. I think there was even more for like 01. Sleepy, why don't you just sign a pre nap? God damn it, Niles. Oh, that's a, that's a wall. Combined Proto and GT at Lime Rock, yeah. Oh. I don't even want to consider Monaco at all. The track sucks. <laughs> they used to just do it. Like, we only got, like, four prototypes. What's the worst that could happen? Dude, I, I skimmed through that DPGT Phoenix race. I did not realize that was a, uh, like, dusk to night race. That's, that makes it even more hilarious. Racing is fucking goofy sometimes. <laughs> really goddamn goofy. Ooh! That was almost all. Well done! Well, the race day. is yeah. yours! As I win at Peton Sebring. Still got the fast lap point, barely, by a tenth. And McLaren sweep GTS. No BMW sweep a GT. Blackwood finished behind both of the Quafes.
So, one round to go in the traffic challenge. Bond basically has the uh, GTS class wrapped up. And Blackwood sort of the same for GT. Although he just lost seven points, so we'll see. Baja Edge Control featuring full length Baja 1000. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. I'll, I'll fucking do it. Last round, rocking hand, let's go. The race is on. Oops. Remember when IndyCar and Kart tried to be in like in big international series? Oh my god. Oh oh I killed Severn. Oh I killed my one and only opponent. Yeah, NASCAR did an exhibition race at Motegi. Oh my god, things are happening. Excuse me. Hold on. Gotta go. There's an angry Audi driver out for blood, probably. Yeah, the Suzuka East Exhibition Race that got put into NASCAR 98. Oh, ooh, e, ooh, e, ah, e. V Mac, please. Speedway, run away. With the fastest lap time, you could be in for an extra point. Test back then the cars. Make sure they were fast. Hmm. I need to get the uh, the re-release of Edge of Control. I have the original on PS3. I want to get the re-release of it. Pretty fun game, actually. Art is balls. Pretty fun. Sucks that Motegi Oval is dead. Just trying to fix that little audio bug I could hear. You're on your last lap. Oh shit. I fucked it. Fucked it. Nice. God. Here he comes. Right on my ass, bro. He's no longer right on my ass. Ooh, 
running away. Or you could slam on the brakes like an idiot. I mean, great racing. You're the winner. Yeah, great racing, except the part where I just fucking ate shit. Oh well. Clean sweep, though. Get fucked, Severn. Do, 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 There's the results. So, one point away from a perfect score. Missed one fast lap point. Unfortunate. Oh well. Bond wins GTS. And look, everyone scored a point. And Blackwood wins GT. Hey, look, everyone scored a point. That was kind of goofy. All right, that was an interesting challenge. <laughs> The, the traffic and the ah. Very chaotic. I ween. Hell yeah. Alright, on to the next challenge. Where are we dropping next? We're dropping in the Audi R8. Alright. Best way to beat an Audi is in an Audi. Are you up to the job? Maybe. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, Bentley, something, I don't know. Four races. Monza's gonna be four laps, okay, interesting. Well, here we go. Let's, uh, let's drive the Audi R8 for the first time in this game. Let's do this. Now we're getting there, this is the penultimate challenge. Alright. Hey, look, we can qualify again. Qualify again. Yeah. Not going to, though. Instead, we're just gonna fucking send it. Six Audi R8s blast into turn one at Sebring. Oh, now I'm gonna blast off the track. Alright. Oh, hi, how you doing? Oh, <laughs> well. This, I see. Not the best of starts. God, coming in hot. Oh, wheel spin. Oh my god. Okay. I have I have crashed my way into second. It breaks so early. It always throws me off. I tried to throw it in. A couple of them look a little pissed at me, but not really. Overshoot. Uh, the, nothing better than the run down the Sunset Bend in an Audi R8 prototype. Oh, it turns over here, by the way. Oops. The fastest lap is yours. If nobody beats it, you'll win an extra point. 
And we are running away. You're running away very quickly. Oh. It really did. This car is so freaking dominant. Actually ridiculous. It's like, what if we took the R8R and made it not suck? And just make it OP as fuck. but I really like the livery of this car. It's just gray with like random red bubbles on it. Uh, maybe it's just because it's one of the first like prototypes I've actually like watched racing. So, it might just be nostalgia. Because I, I discovered sports car racing during like peak R Audi R8 times, like when they were just getting started. Black accent. There's one with black accents? I know there's this one and then there's the yellow one. I know there's a black one. Today I learned. Oh, the R eight C. I think I might know what you're talking about, but, like, only extremely vaguely. Can I, like, I, I could just be, like, inserting a memory that doesn't actually exist. Could be Mandela affecting myself. I don't know. I won, by the way. Very easily. Dominant. Get fucked out of their Audis. And eh, Severn finished last. Ooh, there's a photo. Photographic evidence. Oh. Yeah, I've never seen this one. I've never seen the version with black accents on it. Huh. That's cool. I do remember there was a uh, 12 Hours of Sebring once. I want to say it was like either 01 or 02 or something. I don't know. It was during the Audi R8's heyday. Um, Hawkenheim, by the way. But uh, basically the Audi was going to win and there wasn't much else happening on track and it was nighttime. And so they just like spent most of that final hour of the race just on board with the leading Audi and I don't know why but I really really enjoyed just the vibes of that on board shot and just kind of hanging on it for most of the, fin the uh, finale
just it's one of those like one of those like first memories of me watching sports car racing and you just be like, this is fucking cool. This is rad. Anyways, bumper cars. You wanna wanna play whacking Audi? Oi, e oi, e oi. Oh, 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 shit. I hit him. They're also the most dominant ones. That and the number 38 champion alley. That's another one I remember. Like, well. I think there's even a golf livery one in uh, Forza 1. through the stadium. Like, cut that turn like an idiot. Uh. I think the one that's like the most iconic to me is the yellow one because uh, I think that's the one that Dendo Capello like drove a lot and won his like 17,000 Le Mans with it. James Hunt. Go away. It definitely pops a lot more than the other trims. All I know is this is definitely one of the most, like, for for me, uh, when I was growing, like, the time I was growing up and discovering different forms of racing, this is one of the most iconic cars for me. Easy. came out in like 2002 and I'm pretty sure that's when the new layout of Hockenheim was first raced. something right for once. Let's go. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know the importance of that name. Sonic R? Oh, really? 
Hm. You finished in first place. Did not know. So the Sonic R dude did the soundtrack for this game. That's that's cool. I can't speak. What I can do is win these races and these challenges. Relatively easily. Saturn version 3D last. Hmm. The inferior soundtrack. <laughs> Genesis 3D Blast will always hold a special place in my heart. Attributed to Jet Set Radio. Oh. Well, damn. That's fucking cool. All right. Anyway, it's Silverstone. Clean double overtaking the cops. Now, time for very dirty overtakes. Oh, they're banging each other. That was surprisingly easy. And now we run away. And win. Maybe you can get the flat, fast lap point. He did the MSR soundtrack? Mm -hmm. He's had his hand, hand in it uh, a lot of things. Open or close. Uh, you know, that's that's a hard one to, to pick. Hard choice to make. Yeah, I don't know. I can't choose. Nine second lead already. They're driving the 1999 R8. <laughs> They're driving the R8R. Suck. Richard Jacques got a hell of a portfolio. Awesome. Six. I want to play that game. Someone translate the career mode. Damn it! I want to play the game. Look, if Racing Lagoon can get a full English translation, Sega Rally 2006, absolutely can get a full English translation. Where the fuck am I going? Join me in Duolingo. No, I don't want the... I don't... I don't... Dude, I... I, I don't even have a grasp on the English language. You think I can grasp another? I think I'll learn Japanese? Put on this effort and still cry. No, Carl, I gotta be a proper weeb. 
I gotta put no effort into it and cry. Real life doesn't have subtitles. <laughs> Takes vacation in Japan. Where is the subtitles? Uh, Racing Lagoon, Roberta. That got the the translation of that got finished like last year, I think. Great driving! You've won the race. I need to play that someday. Oh, it's 2021. Oh, okay. Damn. Honestly, the only thing I remember most about the whole Racing Lagoon thing is Caro speedrunning it for like a couple months. I win. One race away from a perfect score again. Man, they are tight. For a second, holy shit. One point separating three drivers. I need to play Racing Lagoon. Noticeably harder when you speed run it, no way. Yeah. All right, final race, and it's at Monza. You mean grinding for parts makes the game easier? <laughs> what do you mean? Wow. Isn't that, uh, Enthusia? Simply <laughs> having 900 horsepower gives you an advantage. I have that game. The game's fun. The hardest balls to drive the cars. At least for me. I am not. A, I I very much have a skill issue when it comes to enthusiasm. Honestly, I want to play that game with my wheel. I want to see how that feels on, like how that plays on the wheel. See if I can actually drive real wheel drive cars with the wheel. I was using the sticks. I'm just bad. Taking the lead. I think. I don't know, it's been a long time since I last touched Enthusiast, so... I might have used X and Square. The throttle and braking. I played driving motion type S for like 10 minutes, and that was 10 minutes too many. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely Saturn. Dude, I can't wait till I let's play Automobilista and make everyone angry because I'm playing the North American release and not the Japanese release, but it's driving better, it's getting better. I don't fucking care. Uh, I might have, like, done, like, a random fuck-around stream on Enthusia, but I haven't done, like, a playthrough of it.
Fun fact, I was actually gonna let's play Automata Lista uh, on my Xbox, and then my Xbox fucking died. Hate it here. Okay. Uh, I just there's the I'm, I'm I'm more like the 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 purists or whatever or the elitists. Get mad that I'm playing the inferior version of the game. Kind of related. I actually got a. It's been a while since I've got these, but it's a very interesting uh, flavor of comment that I get on YouTube sometimes. It's the, um, uh, you know, if you did this to the car, you would have won easier. I'm in like where like the goal isn't to win as easy as possible, but to have a fun race. Like, you could have did this, like, you could have won this easier if you had, like, the stage 4 turbo. I'm like, yeah, okay. It's not the point, but, okay. Thanks, I guess. Just one lap to go. Oh, yeah, this is a four-lap race. I forgot about that. It was just that was just a random anecdote. Don't mind me. I gotta find some way to make fun of dumb YouTube comments without actually responding to them. Sixty hertz mode. Well then, that's surprising. Oh, are we good? The line. In first place. Damn right I finished in first place. Congration, you're a winner. You can set a new lap record. Hey, perfect score. I was wondering if anybody was going to beat me, uh, beat my fast lap on the last lap. Because they tend to do that at Monza and uh, Hockenheim. Not here. Look at this point spread. One, I scored maximum points. Four wins, four fast laps. Two, uh, second through fifth, separated by two points. 15, 15, 14, 13. God damn. Tight battle. Best lap of a racing game I've ever ran. Ooh. Mm. That's a tough question. That's a really tough question. I don't know. Probably whatever the fuck I had to do to uh, beat the Red Bull X challenges in Gran Turismo 5. I've unlocked the Audi R8, by the way. Hooray! Let's save. 1907 at Monza, holy shit. 
Anyways. Uh, ooh. Okay, so we just... I was gonna say time for our last challenge, but I guess we just unlock these gradually. Interesting. Well, the final, final challenge of the first, like, 30. So... Uh... It's time for Audi versus Bentley. They share the same engine, but these two cars couldn't be more different. Which is faster? Let's find out. Five laps of Silverstone and then three laps of Hockenheim. Interesting. So, Bentley versus Audi. Bentley actually has a worse acceleration, which is interesting. Fair to have slightly better acceleration since it, the whole closed cockpit probably produces less drag. At least it has a aerodynamic flow. The fuck do I know? We're driving the Bentley, by the way. Anyways. That one's out of the room. He was just kind of laying there patiently. When I opened the door, he's just like, oh. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, he'll be back in here in like two minutes. We're doing donkey lopsided. Uh, we are we are immersed in some racing. Here we go, Bentley versus Audi. So three Bentleys, three Audis. Let's go. I I watched your POV of those last few laps, and I heard that I lost my shit. Like fucking donkey lopsided. Go. Go, go, go. Fucking melon didn't even work. Fucking melon. Yeah, no, it's spelled with a P. I do. I was just vibing, like just trying to not fly off the track. Then suddenly I saw your headlights, I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta go. And ended up running two seconds faster. On the last two laps. Enjoy driving GT. Honestly, that was a fun combo if it, you know, other than the darkness imprisoning me. Or she was scooting. Four <laughs> corners were really great, yeah. I was actually doing pretty good up front until, uh... <laughs> fucking... Gay man. Oh! Yeah, he had an Orin Park turn one moment and killed me. I got Nightmind. <laughs> Hilarious because I've I've done that exact thing in the Jetta before. Uh oh, understeer. Why? Oh, super rich. Oh, that's Pog. Super rich. 
Jetto Rally. Super Rick. Super Rick. Oh, Dix. Understeers a bit too much. Mm -hmm. That's okay, I won't notice because I don't know how cars are supposed to drive. It's okay, I won't notice because I don't know how cars are supposed to drive. Zach, he's Australian. Yeah. Mickey Aussie man, figure out the Aussie car. Last to go, it's Silverstone. I'm still driving like shit. But I'm pulling away. Oh, he's picking the Oh, hi, test drive. Hello, gamer. Virtual gamer. <laughs> Gamers gaming game. Game TM. I had the cats back. Are <laughs> you over how immersed I am? Go. This is it. This is it. Oh, that's that's the grass. Version level today. Uh, it's all sixteen. Nice. I'd say we're at an eight. No reason. Uh huh. to white. <laughs> oh, the Bentleys with the sweep. Destroyed. Well then. Alright, one down, two to go. Um, 
Now we'll, let's view this replay here, because I need to view a replay to get a thumbnail eventually. Starting to notice a clear winner here. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut your door back. You can kind of notice the similar lines of the Audi and the Bentley. Oh, the rear wing is mounted differently. Sounds like a menu theme from like a Mega Man game. Maybe it's just because I'm Mega Man pilled right now, still. Alright, hopefully I got something good enough from that. Anyways, let's head to race two of two of the Audi V Bentley. Ta -da. We go three laps at Hockenheim versus the five we did at Silverstone. So here we go. The race is on. Also, I realized why the tracks were chosen. That were chosen were chosen. Silverstone for the Bentley round. Hockenheim for the Audi round. Yeah. The whole money thing really a pain in the ass. Gets in the way of so much. Fuck capitalism. Why money had to exist? Why do I have to have none of it? Got everything except one missing piece of the puzzle to make my life perfect. One billion dollars. What pictures of old men? fine. Okay. It's a okay. The fastest lap is yours. If nobody beats it, you'll win an extra point. Two go. Imagine actually using paper money. Or, I guess it's technically made out of cotton, but still. I 
I'm pretty sure there's some foreign currency that has the queen on it. Rest in piss. Loonies and toonies. Yes, uh, yes, people didn't like the queen. That's why you call them toonies in that one video I watched. But like, there's a lot of people, at least I saw on the internet, who's like, think fuck the queen is dead. I don't really know. I'm not. Wasn't part of her kingdom. Here's the final lap of the race. Final lap of the race. But yeah, there's a, uh, there's a YouTuber I watch who's Canadian, and, um, <laughs> he was doing a book review. Um, in this, a, in this book that is made to convert atheists to, uh, Christianity, or not Christianity, but, like, Ju Judaism, I guess. Yeah, Judaism, because he's a rabbi. Um... There's an entire jap chapter debunking the concept of math. Actually, there's two chapters. Three, even, maybe. So, uh, in a very condescending way, the, the dude I was watching t was showing him an example of division by using toonies. I'm like, what the fuck is a toonie? Now I know. Oh, my homies hate math. It's so, like, disgustingly bad. Like, 1 plus 1 equals whatever I want. 1 plus 1 doesn't equal 2. That's fake. I cut this apple into multiple pieces, which means I divided it into pieces, which means it's 1 divided by 1 equals 8. Not how that works. One plus one equals seven. Fish. Yeah, it's it's hilarious. You finished in first place. I mean, it's hilarious. the The review is hilarious. The fact that someone unironically wrote this shit in a book for sale, who allegedly went through law school. Is uh, ooh, ooh, sad. Really, I won. By the way, perfect score out of the two races. A moderate oof. And he's also got the your typical conspiracy stuff. You know, the Earth is flat, six thousand years old. Etc. Etc. Anyways, we've completed the last of the first uh, 30 challenges that are visible. So I guess next is like the bonus challenges. Um, do I want to do this? Now? I was gonna like do the career mode again, at, but I think we're just gonna keep going until we finish the challenge mode. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, let's just move on to the first bonus challenge, I guess. The Pill Bean. You have the excellence to get the winning formula. I don't know what the fuck that means, but sure. Five races. Uh, Monza Silverstone International, Talheim Ring, Hockenheim Multidrome, and Rockingham Oval. Inter interesting uh, selection of tracks. And here's our car, the Pill Beam LMP. It looks like a Radical. 
Like, even the livery gives me radical vibes. Uh, apparently, allegedly, it has better stats than even the, uh, the Audi and the Bentley. We'll see about that. The LMP2. So why it got better stats than the LMP1s? <laughs> That's weird. I guess because bonus car. I don't know. Let's see how the pill beam drives. Five laps, Monza. Or three laps, Monza. Five races. Here we go. Bribes. Yeah. Go flying into the chicane. Violence. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey. Give me room. Still not giving me room. Don't make me push you into the gravel. I'll fucking do it. I thought he pushed himself into the gravel for a moment. I don't think he did. Hello. Oh, e ah, ooh, ah. E little, little bit of a uh, little bit of violence. Don't mind me. Probing and Batista's. This underwhelming in game one car. Oh, shit. They do have that basic bitch ass design. Again, this just looks like straight up like a radical or some sort of similar, just like regional levels uh, spec racing car. Alright, two to go. Here we go. Didn't even mean to send it three wide. But they stopped so fucking early. I am forcing the issue. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, oh. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's fine. I've regained control. It's fine, it's fine. Nothing is wrong. Uh, okay. Back down to last. Everything is wrong. Excuse me. you. Okay, back up to the third. <laughs> now. Can I pass these two and, like, hold on to the position? Oh, one of them fucked up the exit. Give me the sock. go. I can barely hold this car straight. That damn 67. Almost. Correct numbers, wrong order. do kind of have some snappy grip to it. May or may not be a good thing. 
Oh, shit. Lost on the brakes. Ow. Boy. Alright, well, here we go. <laughs> Got to send in the parabolica. So what? I had all the room in the world. I even set it up and I still fucking rammed into him 700 times. Oh, well, forget the dub. I guess. That was a terrible race. Skill issue. The race is yours. Oh god. Oh fuck. More oh oh man. Oh, they're in the fence again. Oh man. Oh, they're in the fence. Hi, Chrissy. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Welcome to uh immersion. Race car race. Total. PS2. <laughs> Hope you had a good stream. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, moment when the guy in last gets fastest lap. That slipstream, though. Version outdoors. <laughs> outdoors. Scary, I want to go back inside. All right, hopefully this next race goes a little smoother. Silverstone International. Four laps, so. Let's uh, do some more pill beaming. Beaming pills. Pills here. I was going to send in the cops. I decided not to this time. Oh. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? Oh. Greetings, friend. Gibbs. I was going to break through that cane for some reason. Oh my god. Again, I am struggling to just kind of hold this car in the straightaways. I'm trying, though. This layout, yeah. In this one. Internacional. Excuse. Oh, he's wiggling. Big wiggle. Excuse you? Sir? Fuck you hitting the brakes through there. Oh, God. It's fine. It's a basad. Bitch. Right. I have the lead. I wonder if I can actually run away now. Or if the AI difficulty has been cranked up a little. Now that we're in technically like the bonus challenges. No one way to find out, and that's by fucking around. Because the more you fuck around, the more you find out. It has a very tinny engine sound. EA Sports. Game. Yeah. Well, six gears pretty long. I and mean, again, the other gears are pretty short. By comparison. So six kind of has to be longer than yesterday. Don't ask how I turned that into a Britney reference, but here we are. I say the weird thing, I make weird references when I panic. Don't worry about it.
to the 2B Britney bitch, yeah. This thing actually sounds kind of cool at lower RPMs. And by lower, I mean 7K. There's a turnover there. I missed it, but there's a turnover there. I have not yet figured out how to drive this car, like, relatively smoothly. It's a problem. Music song. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. <laughs> yeah. You're the winner. I win. I actually had relatively close to me. I think the AI might actually be turned up a little there. Still got fast lap. Still won by three seconds, despite my struggles. But. <laughs> Keenan. <laughs> Holy shit. Boots and cat jam. Uh, shit. Very good. Alright, two down, three to go. Oh yeah, Talheim rings next. Boot cat, boot cat. Oh, what is this gravy? What is this image? Oh my god. That's a lot of cars. That's a sick shot, actually. From, I'm guessing that's the uh, 9 class. <laughs> ALMS WEC race. Now we're racing. Battle for 30th overall. God damn. I want to watch that race now. Can't let you keep doing these things to me, Gravy. Can you keep up with 2023 racing and make me want to watch older racing? Case, case, oh, trouble. Something game wish list. I do be playing some pretty interesting games sometimes. Uh, oh yeah, you should. Oh, that's that's a game. Shit. Excuse me. Kind of stinky. <laughs> you smell. I remember when I said I was going to come back and, like, finish, finish Yakuza 2. That was in, like, January. It is now uh, far from January. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh, shit, 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 shit. shit. Alright, we were looking good until the car, um... I lost control. The music made me lose control.
was in fact spinning out of control, out of control. Test driving with destruction. The winner of this race is Girl Balls. And second place goes to Cletus. Wait, out, eat, ah, uh, eat my ass. Stop it, stop it. Don't kill offside. Shit. This thing is not easy to drive. This is not an easy car to drive. It's very loose. It's it's too twitchy. Oops. Might have to now. Excuse me. I was tired of who's saying that, that sector split. Siphon. But enough about you. That was, that was a joke. One titty got me bigger than the other. Ooh, big slide. Big wheel. Oh. I was trying to dive into that turn. Barely got the acceleration. Hold it together. All right, once again, despite my best efforts to lose this race, I won. Some the fuck how. Yeesh. Okay. So with that, two races to go. Uh, off to Hockenheim. Oh yeah, we're doing the Motodrome layout, so it's short Hockenheim. It's fun Hockenheim, not Hongshu, Hongshu, me, 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 Hockenheim. For five laps. Funk. Funk. Bring the funk. I still refuse to qualify. One, two, three, funk and Excuse me. You know? Oh, that's that's grass. Don't touch that with a car. Yeah, this, this track do be looking kind of sus. Ugh. Welcome to the Amogus Drone. Oh, no. Mistake field ra race so far, and we're making more. Holy shit! It just went as soon as I touched the grass. Holy crap! Again, this car is not easy to drive. 
especially around tighter tracks like this. <laughs> Just giving the fans a show. Instead of being like, oh, Devco wins again. certain level of finesse you need with this car that you don't need with the other prototypes. Actually, not many passing opportunities on this track. There's not many like heavier braking zones, or just braking zones. Diveable braking zones. Shit. I somehow saved that, I don't know how. Bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> not me. <laughs> A genetic freak. No, I'm not normal. Kurt Angle. Oh, what the Gibbs doing? Wiggle. Come on, come on, let me go! Let me go, finally. Alright, well this is our first L in a quite a long time. I think this is the only third time I've not won a race in the challenge mode. <laughs> But there we go. Oh well. These things happen. Car's hard to drive. So, I got a fast lap at least, so. Plus one point. And I've already won the challenge. <laughs> Easy. As if there was ever any doubt. Alright, one race to go. And this is going to be the goofiest of the five, because it's uh, Oval Time. Or maybe it's Oval Teen, I don't know. On the speedway, dun, 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 dun. on the speedway. I need to make a fucking playlist of something specific, and I keep forgetting to do it. Maybe today will be the day. I don't know. Anyways, time for Rockingham Oval. Five laps. To end the Pillman Challenge. Man pill. Pill eats. Eats yum. Pills here. I'm running a shallow line just to see. to avoid shit like that. Them just randomly breaking like that. Oh, hi, how you doing? The ETM car. Oh. Melted food container. <laughs> me when I forget to take it. Me when I microwave Tupperware. I 
I got the joke out eventually. Well, they were P. Rhombus hours. Well, at least there's one benefit to this car's handling. It makes uh, makes the rocket cam uh, oval really easy. Almost 200 miles per hour into turn four. Let's go on board. Here, here's your uh, lap guide to Rockingham. Turn one, flat round you. Turn two, uh, flat round you. When we approach turn three, uh, flat round you. Then we make our way down to turn four, uh, flat round you. And that's your onboard guide lap of Rockingham. Over. I even PB'd on that last lap. That's funny. All right, well, that was easy. <laughs> Little sector times, nine seconds. Nine, 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 nine. Group that want to run the European Open Wheel Oval Series using converted F3000 cars? That sounds hilarious. European oval kart races kind of bombed and went, never mind. Unfortunate. I am the greatest bean pill. Bean. I, I won. More racing games with Formula Fords. Luckily, iRacing just got it. I mean, it's not Formula Ford by name, but it basically is. Oh yeah, we've unlocked Pill Beam LMP. Nice. And our next challenge. Oh my god, alright. I see. Here's our next challenge. Sebring 50. The classic endurance circuit. Are you ready for the challenge? All right. Well, I'm about to get myself ready. But I think this might be the last race of the night. A 50 lap race around Sebring. Oh boy. In LMPs. In prototypes. Let's see. Which one do I want to drive? I feel like no matter what I pick, it's going to be an easy dub. Except maybe in the dome. You know what? I just... I, I talked about watching the onboards of the Audi R8 at Sebring, that one broadcast. We're going with the Audi. So. Here we go. It's endurance time. Sebring 50. On. Let me just make extra sure that the track is dry. Okay, the track is dry. I was going to assume that is dry, but you never know. Let's go. The rare midday sea ring in this game. Anyways. Away we go. Multi-class. This looks like a standard like career mode style multi-class. 6 GT, 6 GTS, 6 LMP. Or prototype, excuse me. Fuck qualifying. Ooh, baby, baby. Three wide interclass battle for overall position. No, wait, that wasn't interclass. That was a Lister, not a BMW. Woo! 
We're good. All right, we're past all the GT cars. Now to pass all the prototypes with probably great ease. Shout out to Test Drive Le Mans and the Dreamcast having a mid-race save feature. We don't have enough of those in games with long races. Ooh. Commit to the Dreamcast life. There's still a couple physical Dreamcast games I want to buy, but I basically have committed myself to, like, if I ever want to play them, I'll just play them on the emulator. Uh-oh, Bentley hit the grass. We have a dome P1. We no longer have a dome P1. And there we go. Went to last well, from last to first in one lap. By last, I mean last last. Um, at least from my experience, the games I've played emulate well. There's like a little bit of like layering issues with like rendering the sun in like Metropolis Street Racer, but that's about it. What about my experience? Research, yeah. Maybe spec and speed up. Shout out to GT4 for being able to like simulate driver changes in that way. Okay, now with the cheat code, you don't even have to grind the endurances unless you really, really want to. I'm actually kind of sad we got midday Sebring for this. I wanted to see, I wanted to drive into the sunset for two hours down the back straight. Oh well. Can't have everything, I guess. Shafted. Boo. Alright, time to reset until I get sunset. Just kidding. I'm not doing that. Alright, two down, 48 to go. Settle in, folks. We're gonna be here a while. Oh shit. Oh my god. Let's just overshoot every corner. And blow every exit. That blow. That penis. Got him. Nuts. So we're gonna play through the entire 27th hour of this of the game here at Sea Ring. We're about to complete hour 26. Woohoo! Pointless timers that only I care about. Help. Okay, pointless timers that two people care about. I think I just ran the exact same time two laps in a row, 42.99. Funny. Ah. I have our 
already checked out from the rest of the field. I knew this race was going to be piss easy no matter what car I chose. Especially if I went with the Panos. I think I might actually be the best in, in the Panos. That thing just, it grips so well. to Daytona, except we uh, messed up our directions a little bit and we're at the other uh, Florida track. Already got an eight second lead over Golding. Looks like we're going to be lapping the GT field for the first time this next lap. See how they're feeling. At least there's no damage. Just improved by two seconds. So those two are very neutral. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Pick a lane. Christ. So wide. And they do. They're like that in real life, I think. Oh, God. Excuse you all. Alright. Not the cleanest run through the GT traffic. Not the dirtiest I've done either. <laughs> this did used to be an old airbase, so... I don't know how old the concrete is... ...down here, but I am going to guess that it's pretty friggin' old. Down the runway. Well, uh, that suck. Just because I sucked through getting tra getting through traffic. Traffic. Car. The only thing that's missing here is the uh, total race timer. Kind of wish we had one. Like, in during the race, oh well. At least we'll have a race time at the end. We are easily our first race that goes over uh, an hour. Now it's time for GTS cars. And I actually pass these guys cleanly. Oh! <laughs> Sneak it in under, underneath the paint. I was holy shit. I don't know how I did that. Everyone very neutral. When it comes to their mood. All right, we're just gonna go this way. That works. Hey, new PB. I'll switch the cameras to try to get rid of that, uh, whatever fucking audio thing is happening right now. Didn't work. 
Hussein's taking second. 15 seconds behind me. Okay, it went away. <laughs> These things happen. Alright, so we've lapped the GTs once now. Time to do it several more times. One of the prototypes is still going through the GT cars, not even the GTS cars. They're, they're having a rough go at it. Taking off the uh, best lap. I don't know if I can do a sub 40 though. It's going to require a pretty damn good lap. I'm not paying attention. Well, if I was a Sebring reel. <laughs> yes. One of these days, I'm actually going to play Sports Car GT on the PC, and I'm going to do an actual 12 hours of Sebring. I would imagine it wouldn't take nearly as long as this game. I don't know, depending on how much skill issue I have with the hard, hard difficulty. This certainly is a line. These are still really close to each other. It's like modern GT racing, there's like almost no separation. Then again, they're only working on lap 7, so... That's a grass, dirt, dirt grass. Oh shit, big wheel spin. No chance to not off the cars, huh. That's an interesting bug. And sp oddly specific. <laughs> My best kinds, the weirdly specific ones. You know, this is my practice for the uh, the iRacing 12 hour. Um, I heard Corey can't drive, so uh, in case you need a substitute. This is very clearly a joke. I mean, no surprise. I think I actually, like, my first time I played through F Ford Racing 3 was the PC version. 
I have the PS2 version now. Oh, look, there's Taylor Mills' number of laps to go. Corey Verving D last moment. <laughs> oh, shit! Wheel spin. Yeah. Whoever's in the last year, the prototypes got very stuck in the GT cars. I don't know what happened, but boy, did it happen. Fathom the anger. <laughs> That Vervain T was fucking on me. Seeing who this back marker prototype is, I want. I bet it's the BMW. Because the AI are fucking slow in the BMW. It is absolutely the BMW. Oh, wait, no. I think that's an Audi. I think my, uh, my teammate's in last year. Audi. Yeah, that's that's an Audi. Huh. All right. Well, never mind. BMW is not slowest. Doesn't seem too upset about it. can stay there. Uh oh. Whoa. How are we good? Time for GTS. Traffic. A race of all time. I already have a 30 second lead, and we're only like just over the 1/5 distance. Hey, Paula. Oh shit! Centura spun. Out of turn one or something. been an hour yet, Caro. Come on. Come on. Took me to lap 12, but I finally spun. This car don't like second gear. Got a luster in the grass, that's a luster in the grass. Here I come. He 
easily around the McLaren. And with that, we lap both GT classes twice. I think that actually fixed the sound. All right, cool. Love it when the plan comes. Oh, look, this is the GT cars again. Ooh, hi, how you doing? How you, how you doing? I want to move things like disabled for this race because like no one's getting upset about anything. Well, actually, no. There's a little bit. Of, there's a little bit of red here on this uh, on this quaif. It's a little bit. Let's make him a little more angry. Don't mind me. Steer. A little too fast. Uh, that is an interesting situation. <laughs> That's about to happen on track. We got the GTS is catching the GT cars while a couple prototypes are also coming through. Have fun with that. Start breaking before that like dark patch. For there. up to 44 seconds now. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. 
All right, making a pit stop. We'll take it from here. Need tires. <laughs> Damn it. Oops. Burn rubber. Burn rubber. On it. Ooh, give me control in the turn. All right. All right, I got some fresh rubber. Let's go. This is a joke. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a joking. Imagine turning yourself into the pit lane. Yeah. No actual pit stops, but like they'll at least simulate the pit lane. It's for immersion reason reasons. That's why this game's called totally immersion racing. Wall. Wall. It's all falling apart. Been driving too well for too long. Ah, ooh. There's an apex over there somewhere. Not sure where. Can't find it. Breaking too late for this hairpin. And then stabbing the throttle too hard. Here we go. Time for my turn trying to lap two classes simultaneously. Oh god, I see the pile. We just uh swoosh on around. That went surprisingly well. Oh, okay, first first gear bad idea. Even more wheel spin. Oops. Fall apart. This is a battle for position. Let's 
Excuse me. Oh, no. We're good. Oh, they're beating him back. Oh, <laughs> he pushed the rematch into the grass. What an asshole. Whoa. Almost just turned into me. What bitch? How oh, dare. Time. Might have been slow, but at least I didn't spin the fuck out of the tires and almost spin out. Bentley, really? So we have an Audi in sixth and a Bentley in fifth. These are the two cars I expected closer to the front. Oh, and he's. We both just flew into the grass. That was an instant stop for the Bentley. Holy shit. Hmm. What an interesting motor race. In terms of where the cars are placed. weird though I kind of wish I was worse at this game so I'd actually have like a legit battle maybe the lack of a skill issue is making this less less entertaining the skill issue skill issue I'm working on it. Yeah. It's quite unfortunate. The worst part is I could go even faster if I wanted to because all I have to do is just crank the tire pressures to the minimum. Boom. Instant, lots more grip. Which would make this even easier. Sort of like experiment with that. Experiment with that at some point. Just like, how fast can I go with minimum pressures on a dry track? Is this true, fault? Is this true, Carl? So I just lapped my teammate uh, for the second time. Choose the top of rice. The return. The second coming. We are forty percent complete in this race. Damn. Big yield. Came twice. <laughs> Looks like lap the field's pretty possible here. I'm half a lap ahead of Hussein right now. Good you, Mr. Actually knows how to cook. Over here, I can't even toast waffles correctly. <laughs> Ate it.
Even more prototype lapping. There's the BMW. Running fourth. Oh my god. Considering how often I fuck up frozen pizza, yeah. Oh shit. Oh god. I'm guessing that's the uh, the go fast setup. Pizza. It's a good ride again later in the future. <laughs> Imagine me eating anything even remotely healthy. So <laughs> I didn't even get to read that whole thing because it was too large a wall of text. So it's not like I can do it now. Thank you, Keenan, for pinning that. Now let me just exit the race so I can apply the setup. Oh no, I still got a lot more to do. I still have to do the career mode again, because I unlocked an even harder difficulty. This isn't even the last challenge in the game. do this to unlock the next challenge, which unlocks the next challenge, which unlocks the next challenge, and I don't know how many we got left, but we got some left. Oh, lead's over a minute now. Oh, that's a wall. You. There we go, let's turn the grass again. I do, but I don't want to spoil it for those who don't know. Hmm. 
more than zero, less than three billion. You don't know that, Carl. I mean, Skyrim has infinite quests, so... What if this game has infinite challenges? This is the blue sphere of racing games. And challenge where you fight Godzilla. My favorite challenge is the one where it's a uh, uh, it's a fifty car race at Monado City, but if you touch the touch the wall or another car, you die in a massive explosion. Like through the rival NASCAR profile. <laughs> Imagine if I tried to do an all level playthrough of Blue Sphere. Imagine if I did something that stupid. Fucking hours. Uh, in terms of like watch time, like run like total runtime uh Gran Turismo 5 maybe in playtime as well cuz i know i had to do a ass load of grinding to unlock the Nürburgring endurances i want to say that took me upwards of like 400 to maybe even 500 hours to 100% that game <laughs> Fuck the Gran Turismo. If the XP requirements weren't so heinously large to unlock the final endurance race, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. Also, if they didn't separate A and B spec into their own careers. Too hard, too much grinding in GT5. <laughs> and there's the extremely fun, uh, fun part where it took me four hours of just grinding days, which takes like no time at all because all you have to do is load a license test and then load another license test, etc. To advance the days, it took me like four hours just to find the Formula GT. Because that car is only available in the used car dealership, and it's also very rare. Hey, look, there's the dome. I think that's... this is P3 I'm lapping. <laughs> Setting up license. Oh, Jesus Christ! Don't hit the pit wall. That's the wall. Now you know. Dude, dome tried to dome me. God damn. Yeah, dome jump scare. Holy shit. Dude, what happened to Hussein's pace? Do you struggle that much in traffic? Because I've gained like 30 seconds on him in the past, like... Six laps. I think we're easily going to lap the field here. Oh, we're halfway, by the way. We are in the second half of the Sebring 50. Of the iRacing Sebring 12 hour. 
The I stands for immersion. The TI Racing. Sponsored by NVIDIA. Please help me. Keep adding layers to this joke and making it less and less funny. Uh, well, this is the longest race I've done by far in this game. The last long... There's only been, like, four endurance races, counting this one I've done so far. Um, the last three combined probably will take... Took less time than this is going to take. I think the longest one was the Minato City endurance, and that was like like 45 minutes ish. Pink website's video on it. No. Eh, if he wants to know, sure. If you really want to know now, I'm, I'm not going to stop you, I guess. I know I'm unnecessarily anal about avoiding spoilers. I'll try to be less anal. More vaginal. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Anyways, I've lapped my teammate for the third time. Here's P2. Ooh, P2 is a little bit tilted right now. Just a little bit. Let's close our for down force. It's true. Wait, that was Hussein. Oh yeah, P2. Duh, I'm P1. I'm like, I just lapped P2. I got one more car to go. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Math ain't adding up here. I'm actually not surprised that the Panos is P2, because that thing handles like a goddamn dream in this game. Yeah, I got a lap P1 now. Gotta catch him. Centaur is uh, not doing very well. I gotta say, the GT classes are still pretty close, except for that one GT that's lagging way behind. It must be a Panos. The Panos GTS. Because, like, that thing is just slow in this game. Two Listers and the Remac. Or Raymock, or however the fuck it's pronounced. Yeah. Welcome to my uh, Total Immersion Racing Blue Yourself speedrun. Oh, I caught this, like, at the best time, because the GTSs were just about to start lapping the GTs. Nope, no pit stop. There's no tire wear or fuel consumption in this. Or damage. Just immersion. I can drive down pit lane, though. That, that's the thing I can do. He cars three players punch in the air. <laughs> Where's my dynamic weather? I'm canceling my pre-order. Forget that. No snow, no body. Alright, so it's Audi, Panos, Dome, BMW, Bentley, Audi. That's the prototype order. Uh. The last place Audi is three laps down. 
I think I've only lapped the Bentley once. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's him right up here. It's absolutely the Bentley. So the Bentley is about to go two laps down. The Audi in this race is about as fast as the Audi R10 in GT5. Dome, 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 dome. The line. Not the wall. I'll do it again. Up deal. Before I hit the wall once out of sunset and it threw me into pit lane. <laughs> uh, in the hands of the AI, yes. Saturn. It's like the slowest pro pro uh, AI driven prototype. <laughs> Source me. In the flash. That was fast. Haha, uh -huh, get it. All cars be on G5 or 6. Oh god. I would hope not, because that. I have, I don't know, I don't want to know how much grinding that would require, Roberta. I really don't. Especially in 5, because you have the, the UCD and shit to worry about. At least in 6, like, every car is available just from the dealership, but... Uh. I know distract. Doesn't make you want to just uh, drive around here for, I don't know, about 12 hours. <laughs> Damn it. Dirt to see ring. I did make a uh, Dirt to Daytona, but uh, I got the directions wrong, so I went to the other Florida track. Should have taken that left at Albuquerque. Twelve hours is half a day. Fifty percent of the day. Two and a half men. Men, 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 men. Oh. Did you know that I'm a lap ahead of Hussein? Crazy, right? I look at Panos is the lone GT car. He's just driving by himself, vibing by himself. Esperante really got shafted in this game. It's its performance, at least with the AI drivers. Actually, speaking of stuff, when the fuck is Spa in iRacing?
LP3 will be out for Glenn. Oh no. It's <laughs> boot to teeth. That is a three wide battle for position. That is the three wide for second in GT. Holy shit. Well, time to put uh, P4 second lap down. With almost relative ease. Oh, he's getting angry about this. Oh, there he goes. In the grass. I really like how both GT classes are pretty tightly packed together, except for the Painos, because apparently fuck the Painos, Desperante in this game. And then the prototypes are just like, spread the fuck out. <laughs> There's not a single battle ha happening in the prototypes. about GT1 racing, really. It's back in the D. There's a three-way battle for second in GTS. With the leader right here, not too far up the road. Two Lister Storms. <laughs> Not just one, but two. <laughs> Until it's a hurricane. Uh, I don't know, ask Gregory Helms. There's a hurricane coming through. It's a bird. So close to a sub 40. Actually mad. Actually mad. Whoops. Didn't mean to go down first gear. Controller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on. 
I think I know how I, what I can need to do to get a uh, sub 140 lap. I need some fresh tires. Going in. Okay, let's get to work. Let's go fax box for cold booty. Nice. Take it away. Interesting how the the lap timer in previous lap time just kind of disappear when you're in lane. Pass on this to the beach. Tomorrow's Friday. I gotta go back to work tomorrow. That's bullshit. Yeah. Gross. Is he doing 12 hour? Uh, sports car GT. Specifically the uh, PC version. I'm sure there's plenty of like mods for other games like GTR 2 that would allow you to do that. Oh my god. So close together. I mean, I only work three days a week. In terms of official content, yeah. Uh, I went to part-time, like... I don't know how many months ago. Some point last year. TLDR, uh, I was taking a huge mental toll. I, I literally had to go to my shift manager like, I need to go part-time. Like, this place makes me feel so fucking hopeless and worthless that I want to not be existing anymore. Honestly, surprised that even working three days a week, that that still gives me enough financial stability for now. and instinctively deny this these things that are being said. <laughs> nope. Fuck. Denial, but that's my favorite Seven Dust song. I know.
Yeah. Hey, look, I'm lapping my teammate for the fourth time. No, I'm not deflecting, except actually, absolutely. Not. Pick, pick a lane, bud. <laughs> you love this as a threat. Oh no. It's the entire GTS field, except for the Panos. Oh, 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 Playsta Sony PlayStation 2. Alright, we made it through, we made it through the calm zone. My nose is big, and it's a pain, constantly. So, yes. Oh god, oh, oh jeez, oh man, don't touch that curb. Spreading misinformation like this. Ten laps to go. Eighty percent. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Turn one. I'm just aware. I'm just self-aware. Fat, dick. fat dicks, fat dicks, fat dicks. I literally have no idea to how to react to anything that's being said, so I'm just trying to inject humor into it. Howdy, TT. I haven't watched RCR in a long ass time. I hope, I hope he, his channel's doing really well. Still. And this GT battle is still hot and fierce. Can't fuck. Jesus. There are definitely reasons why I can't fuck, but it's definitely not because of my magnum dong. Allegedly. Honkers. Speaking of penalties, I think I, I think I got a uh, rough driving penalty. I'm gonna have to take a long lap penalty here. Cheat. Let me let me do that real quick. Long lap penalty. I actually didn't blow the hairpin this time. Hey, look, it's P5. Driving, working on his 39th lap. Wasn't expecting that. Uh oh. There's a lot happening right now. 
esports line. Oh, you fucking died. Okay. That was the esports line. Don't worry about it. That was one of the overtakes of all time, that's for sure. My poor Panos. Like well over a half a lap behind every, the other GTS cars. Oh! I might have to drive down pit lane so I can let my cat out of the room. <laughs> He's wanting out. <laughs> Forty point Dale. Oh. Fucking do it. Yeah, he's pulling at the door. He's like, hey! What out! Man! Guys, take it from here. Burn rubber. Oh shit! Time to burn some rubber. Perfect timing. I'm going to guess, uh, fireware was like a scrapped feature. <laughs> Let's see what you guys are doing. Beatboxing. Rahi. Wait a minute, he tried that. Drive down pit lane. Psych. I'm pretending. I, I I'm pretending. I do not want to spoil. what I said about 20 minutes ago about how I'm stupidly anal about, uh, spoilers. The stupid part, especially. Oh, that's, that's, that's grass. There's tur- there's a, uh, YouTube doesn't know. It's okay, no one on YouTube will watch up to this part, at this point. I think my average watch time is like five minutes. Meanwhile, two, three, four hour videos. Oh shit. It's fine. Terrible weak. Weak. 
feeble-minded mush heads. Damn gravy coming in with the, the, the big insults. Not holding any punches. Get him away! Stupid DTM car. Not even supposed to be here. Oh, someone's pissed. One of the quays is pissed. Oh, God. Don't leave a comment. You're fucking gay. What if they are gay, though? If you don't leave a comment, you're straight. Either way, leave a comment saying I'm gay. I've made an error. Oh shit, we're in the last five laps, let's go. Leave a like and one other comment. Give me that delicious algorithm boost. to the opposite directions with that. You said the fried chicken. Jesus Christ. Right, I think we need a, a, a immersive lap 47 here, so. Oh my God, the frame rate immediately shit itself. that round here. I forgot about the proximity lights on the mirror, on the sides of the mirror. Wish we had the mirror and chase cams, that shit's cool. Yes, welcome to your total immersion. There's a turn over here. Uh, you know, I'm not really paying attention, Saturn. I think that's just how the car, like, pivots. I don't think they're exactly... Uh, looking to the apex. I think that's just the way the cars pivot when they turn. Oh, Dell. Dell computers. This guy's a little bit googly gopped at somebody. I like how the proximity lights are either green or red, depending on how, like, how many lanes away they are from you. So if, like, they're next to you, but they're not, like, they're a couple lanes apart, it'll be green. That's cute. That's immersive.
like smelling computers. Kind of get that. Uh, you don't purchase your computers based on smell? Amateur. Did we have a fucking weirdo in chat? In your chat? Anyways, those were your two laps of immersion. Damn it. I missed it. By the way, Keenan, be glad you didn't do Tiny Truck today. It was stupid. Like, not even fun stupid. So I absolutely decided to not take any shit from a specific person who was giving me shit on track. I, w I was contributing to the problem, but I was sol solving my own problems by doing that. Oh, hey, there's Hussein. I'm gonna win by two laps. Oh my fucking god. A thrilling battle for last. Honestly, it was kind of satisfying. As gross as it makes me feel saying that. The phone controls the prices. Real estate prices, I can prove it. Jeez. The government controls the money. Ten for last, motherfuckers. Here's the final lap of the race. Final lap. Finally, of the Sebring 50. The TI racing 12 hours of Sebring. Ha 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 ha. The theme is so weird and never responded. Uh, I don't know if you saw what I posted in my server, like, free talk of the chat interaction I had when playing Mega Man yesterday. Fucking... We are checking. Open up the checkbook. The TLDR is I got very confused until I went back in the VOD and figured it out. A $5 gift card to Chili's you got from your like, graduation, but you don't live by a Chili's. Unfortunate. Wait to see it. And around the final turn for the final time. As I almost lapped my teammate for the fifth time. You finished in first place. Did it. We win. Look at all these lap times. I'm I'm mad I didn't get a sub forty, but and got so close. I'm more mad that I got so close to a sub forty. What lap was that? It was like lap forty something. Your tag lied to me. Yeah, that. <laughs> I missed it. Lap was it? Yeah, lap 35. I'm out. Thank you. Be well. 
Homie didn't last very long today. I won by two laps. Severn finished 4.99 laps behind me. Anyways, and the other, oh, this was a hour 26 minute race, by the way. Almost an hour and a half. GTS class Bond wins over Bonazza, Bird, Barrett. Woo! On our knees. And then in GTs. Less than a second separating the two BMWs. First to last 12 second gap. And here's the overall results. So, GTS's ended up getting lapped eight times, the Pano's nine times, and then the GT's 12 laps. So, this was the Sebring 38 for the, uh, the GT cars. Oh. Also, there's points, because why not? I'm on phone with a woman. can brag about it. <laughs> Typing ha 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 on the clicky keys. You finished one. Hooray. <laughs> so, that's that done. Uh, and with that, we've unlocked the next uh, challenge, which is the Lister LMP. Oh, we got another endurance race after that. That'll be interesting. All right, well, I think this is a good place to stop here because I just spent an hour and a half driving around Sebring. So, uh, good progress today. We got through one, two, three, four, five, six challenges. The sixth being extremely long. And we're in the bonus challenges now, so. Unlocking secret cars like the Pill Beam and next time the Lister LMP. Because that is a thing that exists, apparently. So. Until the next time on Total Immersion Racing.